Ooh. Coming at you from my car today, temporarily. We're gonna get some great B-roll footage later. Yesterday I got this package in. So right now we're just gonna unbox it real quick because I wanna wear this hat today. We're gonna just take a look at it, take a look at the box and get into it. The package right here, as you can see, I already cut it open. And when we open it up, oh my God. Oh! So it looks like the hat came with a free sample of the French Waltz by Le Fleur. French Waltz is dozing off in the garden, sun beaming drying off the leftover beads of lake water. Sweet and floral winds blow in June. I don't know what that has to do with the scent of it. it says Golf of Fleur on this side. And as we can see in here, we've got the nice little bottle. Moving on to the rest of the package here, I see that we have the same wrapping paper that comes with the other Le Fleur items. Not that I have that many, I have one Le Fleur shirt and it came with the same wrapping paper. Folding this down. I just saw this in there. Ooh. I have a little sticker here too that says Golf of Fleur. All right, so here is the Lafleur hat in all of its glory in the pack. I got the green colorway. Um, doesn't say anything in the bottom corner. Some random numbers or whatever. If you don't know anything about this, this is an Ebbets Field vintage brand hat. Ebbets Field apparently makes really good quality wool hats. See the F on this side, Lafleur on the back. And now we're gonna bust it open. And all this on the exterior is the embroidered F right here. And then the Le Fleur on the back. On the interior of the hat, we can see we have a little Ebbets Field tag here says some stuff on the front and the back. Ooh, on the inside we have a Golf Le Fleur logo there stitched inside on the side panel. And as we can see on the back, made in the USA and the Ebbets Field branding stamp. You can also see the size there clearly, seven and a half, which I hope was not a mistake. This is a funny looking hat. This is a regular hat, right? You can see the brim and it's, you know, a regular brim with a Lafleur hat, which was intentional. The style that it was made in was with a small brim. So curious to see how this is gonna look on my head. So now all we gotta do is um, try it on. I don't have a reflection of myself, hold on. I mean, it fits. This is a baby ass brim, man. I knew the brim was gonna be small and it might look kind of dumb, but I mean, I don't know. This is how a regular hat looks for reference see the brim length and everything. In comparison, this is the Lafleur hat with the small baby brim. Me personally, I'm a brim bender. I don't like a super straight brim, so I'm probably gonna fold it in a little bit. But usually I just connect these two points right here and just kind of like bend it in the middle. Wait a minute. In the corner of the bag was a little Lafleur pen. This is crazy. I didn't see it at first. I don't know why. We got a Lafleur pen with the Lafleur hat. I don't know if everybody got this. Hopefully everybody did who ordered a hat, but man, this thing is nice, man. I'm pretty sure this pen is on the rather expensive. On the website, I think it was like expensive. I'll just go ahead and add that to my cardigan right now. Lafleur pen, Lafleur hat. It's just a Lafleur day. So after spending the day with this hat, I concluded that I actually really like it a lot. The bill is really small, which is silly, because I guess the purpose of the hat is like to block the sun out of your face. You're not really gonna block anything with this bill, but the design of it is really what appeals to me. I wouldn't mind it being a snapback because I do really enjoy snapback hats, but it's a nice hat overall. So we unboxed the hat, we went over a couple details, and now we can maybe throw together some outfits that I would style with this green Lafleur hat. I feel like you can just wear anything with a hat, but... 